Hi there, my name is Vladimir and this is our paper A better use of audio-visual cues, dense video captioning with bimodal transformer by me and S. Arachtu from Tampere University. Let's start with a quick overview. Here we focus on dense video captioning task, but first let's compare it with just video captioning. Video captioning model is required to generate a one sentence for an entire video, which might not be sufficient for a full-length film. Instead, a dense video captioning model should be able to first localize the important events and then generate a caption for each of them. A healthy person utilizes five senses to perceive information. Nowadays, a video provides information for two senses. And indeed, we saw great advances in audiovisual training, including dense video captioning. Yet previous work on multimodal dense video captioning had several issues, namely the importance of audio is either shown on a narrow domain dataset or the performance is still far from the visual-only models. Also, other models are using a combination of several different models, which makes the solution not elegant. To address these issues, we propose bimodal transformer with proposal generator, an architecture which achieves an outstanding performance on dense video captioning but can seamlessly be adapted for any bimodal sequence-to-sequence -sequence task. Now let's dive into the details. The capturing module consists of two major parts, a bimodal encoder and a bimodal decoder. It inputs audio and visual feature sequences along with the embedding sequence of previously generated caption words and outputs the distribution for the next word. We use a pre-trained VGG net to extract audio features and a pre-trained i3D net for visual features. Before going into the bimodal encoder, audio and visual sequences are trimmed up by proposal boundaries. We used pre-trained global vector embeddings to represent each word level token in the caption. Since the dot product attention is position invariant, we add positional encoding to each input sequence. The design of the bimodal encoder is inspired by the original transformer encoder and how the encoder information is used in the decoder. The bimodal encoder consists of three pairs of blocks, self-attention, bimodal attention, and position-wise fully connected net. The self-attention allows a model to attend to all positions within one modality, while the bimodal attention attends to all positions in accompanying modality. Finally, the position-wise fully connected net is applied to every position in the input sequence. The bimodal encoder inputs features of any length and size which can be distinct for each modality and outputs visual attended audio and audio attended visual features. The bimodal decoder inputs both streams from the encoder and previously generated caption words and consists of four blocks, self-attention, bimodal attention, bridge layer and position-wise fully connected net. The second and the third blocks are replacing the encoder-decoder attention in the original transformer decoder. The self-attention and position-wise fully connected net are similar to the ones that I used in the bimodal encoder. Both uh, bimodal attention blocks allow the decoder to attend to each position within both streams of features for, from the encoder at each layer. The bridge block fuses features at each position from both streams. Following the original transformer architecture for bimodal encoder and decoder, we use skip connection and layer normalization, as well as the concept of multi-headed attention. Finally, the output of decoder is used to, gener to generate a distribution for the next caption word. Now let's consider the proposal generation module. It consists of two parts the bimodal encoder and the bimodal proposal generator. The bimodal encoder resembles the bimodal encoder in the captioning model. The proposal generator outputs a set of proposals for the important events to caption. The input to the proposal generator consists of features extracted from the entire video. These features are first passed through the bimodal encoder. The multi-headed proposal generator takes two streams of features coming from the bimodal encoder. Both streams go into individual stack of proposal generation heads. The architecture of each proposal head is inspired by you look only once detection layer. Each proposal head is parameterized with three 1D convolutional layers. The first one had, has a kernel of size k and the other two have, have a kernel of size 1. Each head makes predictions at each position for every anchor. Therefore, in total, the common pool had predictions from each modality, 
position, kernel size and anchor. Finally, the most confident proposals are selected for captioning. We apply k-means clustering on the proposals from the training set to obtain lists of kernel sizes and anchors. We train our model in two stages. Firstly, we pre-train the captioning module with the ground truth proposals. To train it, we employ KL divergence loss. We also mask out the future caption tokens. Secondly, we freeze the bimodal encoder and use its weights to train the bimodal proposal generator. For that, we use a YOLO-like loss. We avoid using non-max suppression for efficiency and to allow events to be dense. For our experimentation, we selected activity net captions, which spans a variety of human activities. The training and the validation sets have 10K and 5K videos respectively. On average, a video is 2 minutes long and have 4 captions. Each caption consists of about 14 words. It is distributed as a set of YouTube links and visual-only features. Some of the videos are no longer available on YouTube. So we managed to obtain only 91% of all videos. We evaluate our model using the traditional set of metrics for dense video captioning task. For proposal generation, we track precision and recall, but mostly rely on F1 measure. While for captioning, we use Blayo 3 and 4, as well as Meteor. We average metrics for a list of thresholds. We compare our model to state-of-the-art in capturing learned proposals on the, valid the validation set. Besides metrics, we account for whatever a model was trained on 100% of the videos or with the missings. According to the uh, result, we significantly outperform all of the considered methods on Blayo a metric, yet we slightly underperform in terms of the Meteor. The difference can be explained by the fact that some of the methods rely on reinforcement learning with Meteor as a reward. We believe that optimizing the Meteor might not necessarily lead to a better captioning system, because Meteor is not a perfect metric. And if we compare the results to the same methods but with no reinforcement learning, our method outperforms significantly while being trained on fewer data. Also, the introduced bimodal multi-headed proposal generator outperforms all other approaches to proposal generation by a large margin, yet being trained on fewer data. Now, let's take a look at qualitative results. Today we're going to have a contest where people try to beat me, and I will do tricks, and then they have to repeat the tricks. If they repeat the trick, they go on to the next round. If they don't, they're eliminated, and that's how it works, and hopefully I get to keep my money. Hi, Boneless. Have fun with the showing of the slack lines. I'll be here all day. I bet you catch up with me soon, and we'll get some slow motion action, and you guys can check that out. We see that the visual-only model managed to grasp that there are several people and that they are doing various tricks on the rope, but not the fact that the person in front was speaking. At the same time, the audio-only model misses all visual details but grasps the speaking part. However, the model, which utilizes them both, could correctly caption the event using the details from audio and visual tracks. In this work, we introduced a novel architecture that seamlessly fuses audio and visual features and effectively uses them to, con to generate proposals and caption them with a natural language description. We encourage you to check out our paper for in-depth ablation studies and implementation details. The project page and the source code are publicly available. Check out our personal web pages to see our recent publications. Please do contact us if you have any questions.